I'm sorry for my voice. I've been a little sick. There are two learning objectives for TR-42. Be able to identify the trig equation for a given sine wave curve with midline and amplitude parameters. And be able to draw the sine wave curve for a given trig equation with midline and amplitude parameters. So given a curve, determine the equation. And given an equation, draw the curve. We're considering only the amplitude A and vertical shift D parameters in these problems. Identify the midline and amplitude, then graph the equation y equals 3 cosine theta minus 3. Sometimes when asked to graph an equation, your instructor will provide you with the graph of the trig function to use. You're supposed to plot the equation on the coordinate system provided. The midline and amplitude can be read directly from the given equation. The midline is the vertical shift amount, denoted by the term at the end, negative 3. So the midline is negative 3, or y equals negative 3. The amplitude is the absolute value of the trig function's coefficient, here. The absolute value of 3 is 3, so the amplitude is 3. Now let's graph the equation. We start with the midline. It's at negative 3, so we'll draw a dashed line here, and for our own benefit, label it midline. Our cosine curve will oscillate evenly above and below this line. The amplitude is 3, so the curve will extend 3 above and 3 below the midline. 3 above the midline is y equals 0, and 3 below is y equals negative 6. The a parameter in the given equation is positive 3, so our curves up and down directions correspond to the cosine, and we can sketch the curve like this, y equals 3 cosine theta minus 3. Let's take this opportunity to do another quick problem. Let's go the other direction. What if I changed the y-axis labels like this? What's the amplitude, midline, and equation of this graph? By inspection, the midline is 12, and the amplitude is 4. So the equation is y equals 4 cosine theta plus 12. The midline and amplitude should be very easy for you to determine from a graph just by looking at it. If the curve were inverted about the midline, we'd just need to reverse the sign of the a parameter, the trig function's coefficient, so negative 4 cosine theta plus 12. The amplitude is still 4, even though the coefficient is negative. The amplitude is the absolute value of parameter a. What are the midline and amplitude for this curve? And write the equation. The midline is the average of 2 and negative 3, which is negative 0.5. By inspection, the amplitude is 2.5, and the curve is in the same direction as sine, so the a parameter is positive 2.5, and we have 2.5 sine theta minus 0.5. Let's change up the vertical axis again. What's the midline amplitude and equation of this sine wave that oscillates between 99.5 and 100.5. The midline is 100, and the amplitude is 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 sine theta plus 100. Here's an equation, y equals negative 5 sine theta plus 2. In this case, we're not given any coordinate system or scale, so we can draw the sine wave any way we like and simply put appropriate labels on the y-axis. Pause, if you like, to sketch this one on your own. The midline and amplitude can be read right from the equation. The midline is 2, right here, and a is negative 5. The amplitude is the absolute value of a, so 5 and the wave will oscillate up and down 5 units away from the midline of 2, so between 7 and negative 3. Because a is negative, the curve will oscillate in the opposite direction as y equals sine theta, so it will start downwards from the origin rather than upwards. Amplitude and vertical shift, the a and d parameters respectively, are very easy to read from either an equation or a graph 
And so it's easy to go from one to the other.